as we've heard all through the evening, uh, poetry can do what it wants. That's the great thing about poetry in 2018, 2019 and beyond, that poetry, as I've said earlier, is so confident it can do what it wants. Uh, Terence Hayes, in his collection, American Sonnets for My Past and Future Assassin, has got this, the endless malleability of the sonnet. The sonnet really can do what it wants. And in this collection, Terence has made the sonnet jump through hoops. He's got sonnets that are angry, sonnets that are lyrical, sonnets that take a view of history, sonnets that take that view of history and turn it on its head. In one of the sonnets, he writes, I live a life that burns a hole through life, that leaves a scar for life that makes me weep for another life, define life. And somehow that's what Terence does. Each of the sonnets is a load-bearing wall in some kind of magnificent secular cathedral of language. This really is an astonishing book. And uh, American Sonnets, My Past and Future Assassin by Terence Hayes. I know they're doing something tomorrow night here too, but uh, this is the prize, right? Uh, so great to share the stage with y'all. Um, this is what we're going to remember, really. So um, I'm just going to read them. American Sonnet for My Past and Future Assassin. I lock you in an American sonnet that is part prison, part panic closet, a little room in a house set aflame. I lock you in a form that is part music box, part meat grinder to separate the song of the bird from the bone. I lock your persona in a dream-inducing sleeper hole while your better selves watch from the bleachers. I make you both Jim and Crow here. As the Crow, you undergo a beautiful catharsis, trapped one night in the shadows of the gym. As the gym, the feel of Crow shit dropping to your floors is not unlike the stars falling from the pep rally posters on your walls. I make you a box of darkness with a bird in its hole. Bolters of acoustics, instinct and metaphor. It is not enough to love you. It is not enough to want you destroyed. American sonnet for my past and future assassin. The earth of my nigger eyes are assassinated. The deep well of my nigger throat is assassinated. The tender bells of my nigger testicles are gone. You assassinate the sound of our bullshit and blissfulness. The bones managing the body's business are cloaked until you assassinate my nigger flesh. The skin is replaced by a cloak of fire. Sometimes it is river or rainwater that cloaks the bones. Sometimes we lie on the roadside in bushels of knotted roots, flowers, and thorns until our body is found. You assassinate the smell of my breath, which is like smoke, milk, twilight itself. You assassinate my tongue, which is like the head of a turtle using my skull for a shell. You assassinate my lovely legs and the muscular hook of my cock. Still, I speak for the dead. You will never assassinate my voice. American Sonnet for my past and future assassin. Our sermon today concerns the dialectic blessings and transgression and transcendence. We're on the middle floor where the darkness we bury 
is equal to the likeness we intend. We stand in the valley and go to our knees on the mountain. One rope pulls a body down and into earth. The other pulls up and after stars. To be divided is to be multiplied. Let us ponder how it is that you and I have remained alive. Mississippi and all the seas bound to sky by rain, the root and reach of all the trees. When the wound is deep, the healing is heroic. Suffering and ascendance require the same work. Our sermon today sets the beauty of sin against the purity of death. American sonnet for my past and future with sassy. Something in the metaphor of the bow, which is never close enough to see the arrow hit its mark. I remain a mystery to my father. My father remains a mystery to me. Christianity is a religion built around a father who does not rescue his son. It is the story of a son whose father is a ghost. No one mentions Jesus' sister. Nothing is written about her. She had no children. She was in her 40s the first time she turned water into wine. A late bloomer, she began a small wine business and traveled all over the world selling the wine. Her name was the name of the wine. I don't recall the name of the wine. American sonnet for my past and future with Sassy. The song must be cultural, confessional, clear, but not obvious. It must be full of compassion and crows bowing in a vulture's shadow. The song must have six sides to it and a clamor of vultures. The song must turn on the compass of language like a tangle of wire endowed with feeling. The notes must tear and tear. There must be a love for the minute and many. There must be a record of witness and daydream where the heart is torn or feathered and tarred, where death is undone, time diminished, the song must hold its own storm and drum and shed a noise so lovely it is sung at sunset weddings, baptisms and beheadings henceforth. American sonnet for my past and future with Sassy. <clears throat> Otherwise, home is the mess laid bare the less made air, the addressless there less clear, where the wax in my left ear makes half of what's said unsaid. On the air, the mute news hounds ponder the tweets of a bullhorn, a rat in the cabinet beside the liquor. Anger is a form of heartbreak. Yes, it is. If you can give the world half of what Nina Simone gave it, you will have lived an exceptional life. All you have to say is, tomorrow you'll try to be better. Like a mother lovingly calling her son a son of a bitch. My lover never believed I held a gun in my mouth. So I talked to myself like a witness. I'd mutter whatever, whatever, forever, otherwise. American sonnet for my past and future with Sassy. Uh, a kinning, it's like, a, actually here's a line in the poem. A kinning is a, a whale wrote is a kinning for sea. I never know if people are gonna get this thing when I do it. All right, <clears throat> American sonnet for my past and future with Sassy. I thought we might as well sing the fables of sea to fill our mouths before sailing out to whale. I thought we might sing as well of the feeling of sea moving about the whale like a coat. The color of water is always the temperature of a mirror. I thought we might drown our reflections in a swaying like our songs of mother wit and mother woe, our toast with water, a deep 
dark blue and almost indigo we paled for the whale before sail. Whale road is a kinning for sea. Time machine is a kinning for the mind. Alive is a kinning for the electrified. I thought we might sing of the wire wound round the wound of feeling. Oh, maybe two more on this. American sonnet for my past and future assassin. Suppose you could speak nothing but money and acrimony. Suppose all the flowers Van Gogh destroyed all the stones in Virginia's pockets and all the stones Georgia painted as vaginas were simply a matter of making something greater than money. Prince taught us a real man has a beautiful woman in him. Suppose we cannot forget what happened in money. Suppose you're someone who celebrates Thomas Jefferson's birthday. Suppose he was someone whose love for a black woman was blinded by blackness, hers and his, yours and mine. I ain't mad at you, assassin. It's not the bad people who are brave, I fear. It's the good people who are afraid. American sonnet for my past and future assassin. My mother says I am beautiful inside and out, but my lover never believed it. My lover never believed I held her name in my mouth. My mother calls me her silver bullet, her mercy pill, the metal along her spine. I am my mother's bewildered shadow. My lover's bewildering shadow is mine. I have wept listening to a terrible, bewildering music break over and through and break down a black woman's voice. I talk to myself like her sister. Assassin, you are a mystery to me, I say to my reflection sometimes. You are beautiful because of your sadness, but you would be more beautiful without your fear. Thank y'all.